Hello there, I'm Three, and I'd like to introduce you to a new way of living in cities. Let's call it adaptable high-rise living. The human population is growing rapidly in cities and it only makes sense to go vertical. However, our current approach to high-rise living is very rigid. The developer decides what you need, a loft, two to three bedroom apartment, that's it. If you needed more room for another family member or a new office, tough luck. You'll have to move out and find the space that better suits your needs. Now with adaptable housing, you don't need to do that. Your house is designed to grow with you. You can extend and shrink your house based on your immediate needs and never have to leave your neighborhood. Does such a system exist? Yes, it does, in small numbers, but they do. How does it work? The building is separated into the base building and infill. The base building is just the basic structure, which consists of columns and floor beams shared by all the occupants. The infill is everything else in a house, walls, furniture, finishes, etc. Each house is completely independent and is serviced separately. So when you buy, you're given layout options. You choose the size and layout of your home from a website. Or you can work with an infill architect on a design. You choose the materials and finishes and you can even choose appliances too. You know how much your entire house costs by the end of the form. Typically the infill costs the price of your car, minus the Malaysian car tax. What happens in real life is, you've decided how much space is needed and the amount of materials needed. Infill companies manufacture and assemble your home using dry construction methods in less than a month. Your customized apartment is ready. You may also change the layout, size of your home at any time with the help of specialists. Why is this better? Because you can tailor your house to your needs and more importantly, to your wallet. So then, if this exists, why isn't it popular? Because it requires a change in mindset. People were not ready for a flexible house when the idea was first introduced in the early 1960s. However, we are more accepting of change and growth as a society now. Maybe the masses would be accepting of such an approach and the developers haven't caught on to it yet. Number two, well, the developers will not finance a project based on a hunch. You need an overwhelming response from buyers to move in this direction. After all, it takes a lot of coordination and changes in the entire approach to housing. And number three, it also requires new guidelines and regulations. That means developers must work with a housing development agency to create new guidelines for these buildings. That's a lot of time and effort. Plus, in my experience, it looks like not a lot of people know that such a thing already exists. Okay, I've got your attention. What can you do? Well, this video was created in the hopes I could eventually own a home I could afford and to determine the market for such a system. Would you be interested in owning a home like this? Yes, no, let me know. You'll find a link to a survey in the description box below. If you like the idea or even if you don't like it, doesn't matter, just fill it out honestly. And if you like the ideas presented in this video, pass it on, get people talking about it. Create a demand for it and supply will follow suit. If you're an architect and you're interested in the system I'm talking about, then Google or get the book Residential Open Building by Stephen Kendall. It's really the Bible of open building. Now, thank you very much for listening and please don't forget to fill out the survey at the end.